hey, 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 YouTubers, it's me, Zipster. As you can hear by my voice, I had a little bit of a rough time down there in Atlanta for the last four days. What a freaking party. Anyway, I want to try to get this together real quick. I just have, you know, I like to always give my little summary of this stuff because I never take any footage because I'm always too drunk enough to get my damn camera out of the bag. But I remember stuff, and people tell me stuff, too. Anyway, oh, yeah, first story, yeah, I'm, they, they changed my airline flight around. They called me at, like, 5 after 7 in the morning on Friday, and they're like, thank you for volunteering to have your, your uh, seat changed. I'm like, I didn't volunteer. Anyway, so turns out I get there, and they move me to a different airline, but they gave me a $300 voucher, so now I can go visit visit nut cheese and it'll practically cost nothing so it was almost practically worth it except then I get over to security and I live in a place where there's like a itty little bitty airport security it's like what the hell is that but I get to and I hand her my ticket and she says oh you got SSSSS on your ticket I'm like yeah I don't know what that is and she said you'll find out long story short sh short they took everything out of my bags uh, they ran over everything with like some kind of microbiotic, electric, pulsating, I don't know what the hell, to try to make sure I wasn't putting no bombs in there. And then they had me stripped down in my panties and they were filling me all up. That was the high point of my day. So I get down there, needless to say, it was a wild, rock and wacky weekend. But I just want to go over some of the more notable things and people that I noticed while I was down there, okay? Um, I'm going to give the award, and this is from just looking, because I didn't really experiment or anything. But um, I want to tell you that the most kissable two people that were there, of the guys, it was totally Mystery Guitar Man. He has the most beautiful lips you ever saw. If you never saw him, go check him out. Mystery Guitar Man, yeah, I said it. Okay, and for the girls, it had to be Jen Love 37 because she's like so adorable. You just want to take her and you want to squeeze her because she's so damn cute. Okay, and I do have to say there was one very pleasant surprise. Um, I, the, the reward for the biggest person who I thought was a really big total asshole who turned out not to be an asshole, and I actually really liked him, is Mr. Sexy Phil. Sexy Phil, it was good to, it was good to get to hang out with you. You're not, an a, you're not an asshole. You just play one in your videos. Okay. Um, the person who looked most uncomfortable to be there the whole weekend? Nah, I don't want to stick to that level. Okay, of course, the person who traveled the furthest was Positive Sue and Paul 1967 UK. But I gotta give honorable mention to the Benny Zone. He took a damn bus from New York City to Atlanta, Georgia. It takes like three days or something. So kudos to you, frickin' Benny. Um, as far as the biggest party you there, I mean, I don't remember much. But even I think the tube granny went up on the floor a little bit more often than I did. And while we're on the subject of tube granny, she actually takes the 777 Attention Whore Award away from North's. Because tube granny, whether she was conscious of it or not, or whether she was even conscious or not, yeah, tube granny really worked that damn crowd. She was also voted the Queen of South Tube. Yeah, I said it. Okay, um, uh, the biggest sweetie, uh, you know, and I, this shouldn't have come as a surprise to me, but you never know. Sometimes you meet people in person and they're like, ah, fat. But the biggest, sweetie, and by biggest, I did not call you fat. Miss Lemonette was totally Lemonette. Lemonette rocked me. I thought she was just adorable. And of course, the best person to sleep with. Now, I only did sleep with one person while I was down there, and it was a woman, and she was fabulous. Was that damn Tracy doing? Her, na her name is, um, that ain't right. Uh, yeah, I said it. She's great to sleep with, and I really liked it, and she was really great. So I just want to say thanks to Marty and everybody that was responsible for putting that whole damn thing together. It was just, it was a big love fest from beginning, well, love drunk fest from beginning to end, and I had a freaking ball. Yeah, I said it. So hopefully I'll have my voice back in a day or two, but till then, screw it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Guess who was the king? Guess who they voted the king of South to? Hello, it was me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they didn't even give me a crown. They got me a tiara. 